Buying a car has become a costly business for most Americans. On average, new car prices have hovered around $48,000 for the past two years, while the cost of a used car has dropped 12% from its pandemic highs, benefiting the used car market. So things are normalizing. However, given the supply dislocations that are still reversing itself, and given the impact of interest rates, which has been very sizable, uh, the cost and affordability of cars remains very inflated. The car industry has made an amazing rebound since the pandemic, but it is hampered by affordability issues, which is keeping a lot of consumers out of the market right now. So we're seeing a lot more business to online car sites for used cars, such as Carvana. There's often a phrase in the industry that uh, people don't buy cars, they buy monthly payments. So used car prices are now more attractive and you're seeing opportunity, especially in the EV part of the market, where consumers are basically getting bargains. The auto dealership market is one of the largest retail markets in the U.S. And like every part of the economy, it suffered massive disruptions during the pandemic. However, shifting to online sales helped revitalize the industry. The used car market has also been one of the most underpenetrated uh, parts of the economy with respect to digital platforms. So what you saw happen in COVID was basically create this massive tailwind that gave the Carvanas of the world the ability to sell cars online. And like anything else, um, the world got ahead of itself and you saw a bunch of corrections. One of the most interesting comeback stories has been Carvana, which was labeled a zombie stock during the pandemic. Its stock had gone from sub $400 per share to $4 a share and has since rebounded. This is due in part improvements that the company has made in the user experience, same day delivery in some cases, and also easy checkout for EV buyers with the tax incentive built into the transaction. Lithia Motors is another example of a company that has benefited from improving its online presence as well as from strategic mergers and acquisitions. Lithia, since COVID, has become the largest automotive dealership uh, group in the country. And they've done it through a combination of both organic growth and acquisitions. Lithia Motors acquired a bunch of local dealerships in the Midwest, including one dealership in Minneapolis, which is expected to add $900 million in annual profit to the company. One of the players that met some real obstacles uh, the past several years has been Hertz. They buy new cars, they lease them out, and then they ultimately sell them. So in 2021, they decided to bet big on electric vehicles and ordered about 100,000 Teslas. A couple of years later, decided that that was not the right move and are now selling about 20,000 Teslas at hugely discounted prices. Hertz is seeing its stock take a hit as well. Its share price is down now from about $34 in 2021 to about $4 today. Despite normalizing prices and stabilizing consumer demand, the industry faces lots of challenges. So moving forward, the risks that the auto industry faces mainly have to do with inflation, high interest rates, just things that generally af affect the affordability of vehicles. Dealers are also dealing with the fact that they are vulnerable to cyber attacks, as we saw with the June attack of CDK Global, which provides a lot of dealerships with their sales technology. You will see relative outperformance and underperformance between the new car market and the used car market. But generally, things will remain robust. If the Federal Reserve actually starts cutting interest rates, we'll see uh, interest payments uh, drop and auto loan payments drop as well.